Hello everyone, in the previous tutorial we saw how to improve tag view terrain resolution by importing NASA high resolution SRTM3 tiles from the FTP server. And today we are going to see how to apply custom layers on top of tag view terrain. For example, a VFR map on top of the Reunion Island. So let's start by going on a website which offers VFR maps, like SkyVector, which offers worldwide VFR maps and also IFR maps. Uh, first, I want to disable any layer so I have a clear map. Let's zoom on Rainon Island. Let's zoom to maximum so I can get the maximum resolution for TechView. And each tile has to be one by one degree, latitude, longitude. So you have to take to do uh, two tiles to cover the Rainian Island, the upper tile and the lower tile. So let's start by the upper tile. I'm pressing uh, print screen on my keyboard. And now I'm going to paste uh, this uh, screenshot into my favorite drawing program. And now I'm going to cut uh, cleanly the tile at the intersection of latitude and longitude lines. I need to do this in uh, two operations because my screen is not big enough to uh, capture a screenshot of the whole tile at once. Print screen. I need to enlarge uh, this canvas to receive the whole data. Here we are. The second half is here. It's important to, to have like one pixel overlap between uh, each tile. So I'm making sure that I'm taking the wall, uh, including the wall latitude longitude grid for every tile. I'm not going to explain you how to use a program like PaintNet, Photoshop, or the GIMP, because there's better tutorials on the internet that what I can do. Here we are. Let's get this first tile. And now I need to save it in uh, tag view, where uh, tag view data after. So if you remember well, there is a folder named prem data, tag view, data, and in uh, terrain. And last time we put our elevation maps in SRTM3 because that was the format of the elevation map. And today the textures are to go naturally in the texture folder already created by TechView. I'm going to use a JPEG format to save space. And uh, I need to name the type properly. So I remember it's a 21 degree south and 55 east, uh, not the you can notice here the zero. It's important because there are three digits for um, Eastern coordinates. Let's save it. And now, here, if I uh, relaunch TagView, yeah, I, I should see the new map appearing on top of uh, Reunion Island. Here we are. The upper part, as you can see. It's opaque and it's displayed uh, exactly perfectly on top of the elevation map. And now let's do the same for the second, second part of it. And we're going to use a special effect, uh, translucent, something uh, translucent, so it blends uh, with TechU uh, default colors. So the same way I'm going to print screen the bottom part of the island in a new picture. Let's trim it properly. Yeah, one half. Let's do the second half. It's something you can do with uh, any kind of map, like Google Maps. OpenStreetMap, uh, 
anything you have in mind, you can even draw your own tiles by hand to display specific zones on your uh, uh, tag view uh, earth. Let's bend properly, overlap properly the two tiles, the two halves of this tile. Here we are. I just have to crop it now. And now I have my uh, one by one degree tile. Let's save it. And uh, oh, before saving it, I need to apply some translucent effect on it. So let's say let's say 50% uh, opacity. Let's save it in PNG format. Remember the coordinates, so now it's further to the south, it's 22 degrees south, and still uh, 55 east. Here we are. And lens uh, relaunch tag view. And we should see now our new tile here. Yeah. So the upper part is an opaque uh, JPEG uh, tile, and the lower part is like half translucent uh, PNG tile. You see, you can do it the way you want. You can even create by hand your own maps if you want. So have fun and uh, have nice flights.